I think we can all agree that feedback is a really awesome concept, but it hasn't reached its full potential. So today we're going to be going over eight ideas that will make feedback an amazing website that ultimately creates a better experience for not only the players, but Team Mojang. So let's waste no time and start with number one. Please Mojang or Microsoft, get rid of Minecraft Earth. This is a game you guys terminated over a year ago, so it's no longer being supported. So I don't understand why there's still a category dedicated to Minecraft Earth, as well as under review ideas. That is just mind boggling that it's still here. Number two, a daily post section on the main page. So if you go on the main page, you're gonna see announced items, under review, and for some odd reason, caves and cliffs, which is also quite old at this point. And the fact that it's still on the main page is a little crazy. So hopefully they get to that very soon. We're almost at 1.20, but I think it'd be very beneficial, especially for the community, if we had a category on the main page that would highlight new posts. So whenever someone posts anything new, you have a random chance of seeing your idea on the front page. I think this is a cool way to show off and highlight new ideas, not based off of popularity or under review or announced, but just new ideas and it'll update or refresh every single day. So yeah, I think that's just a really cool way to show off ideas from the community. Number three, add a Minecraft Legends category. And yes, I know the game's not gonna be out until next year, early 2023, but I think now's the perfect time to sort of get a sense for how we feel about the game, as well as maybe ideas we will have for future content, future DLC, or even just features we would like to see in Minecraft Legends. This doesn't mean that the developers have to include these features or ideas, but more so it's an outlet for us. It's a place where we can go and share our ideas for this game. And hopefully if they like it, they'll include it in Minecraft Legends. I mean, we have a section for Minecraft Dungeons, so I don't think this is an outrageous idea. Moving on to number four would be to add a Minecraft feedback button in the Minecraft launcher. So whenever you do start up Minecraft, you'll have everything accessible through the launcher. You have Java Edition, Windows, you have Dungeons, Minecraft Legends. Beneath that, you have what's new and settings. I think it'd be nice to have a feedback button right near what's new. And then that way it just exposes feedback to even more people. It's convenient. You have easy access to feedback. And I think it just sort of connects everything together. It ties everything under one umbrella, which is the Minecraft launcher. Now, number five is more of a display feature. It would be to include a dark mode or a lights out mode. In fact, I think just including more preferences overall would just be beneficial. I mean, for any type of forum or, you know, website, typically they have a lot of settings to make it easier for users to spend more time on that website. So I think it'd be very beneficial for Mojang, Microsoft to consider adding more viewing preferences, display settings for us so it's easier on our eyes and easier just to spend time on feedback. I mean, it's 2022, so I feel like these type of settings are quite common nowadays. So share your ideas down below when it comes to that. Moving on to number six would be to remove registered users or make it optional. So if you are familiar with feedback, then you probably know what I'm talking about. But if you're not familiar with feedback and the registered user, basically about around a year ago, Microsoft made it where every single user is known as registered user. So from now on, whenever you share an idea, you're known as registered user. And they did this, I believe, for safety reasons to protect users, which in and of itself is not a bad thing, right? But I think what happened as a result is it doesn't reward players. It doesn't reward members of the community who spend a lot of time on these ideas, 
who are lucky enough to get their ideas into the game, which some of my subscribers have been lucky enough to have their ideas in Minecraft, but now they're forever known as registered user. I think it makes more sense to make it optional or, you know, if you're at a certain age, if you're younger than 13, then maybe you're just known as registered user. And when you're, you know, over 14 or 15, then you have the ability to show your username. But I think just to make everybody known as registered user, it's just not a good idea. I mean, we're talking about a forum. It's a place where we can go and express our love and ideas for Minecraft. And I truly think that when they implemented that feature, when they forced that on users, it killed the momentum for feedback. I think a lot of people just lost interest in sharing their ideas for the game and feedback and things that would make the game overall better. I think people just lost the enthusiasm and motivation to share ideas knowing that they're forever known as registered users. So they should really consider rolling that back or at least make it optional for people that are over the age of 13 or 14. But moving on to number seven would be Minecraft Live Integration, which is relatively simple. I think Mojang really needs to consider implementing more of the Minecraft Live content with feedback or even Minecraft.net, maybe even both, especially as Minecraft Live grows and gets more popular, which it seems to get bigger and bigger every single year. I think having a hub, just the central station where we can go and celebrate Minecraft Live in a place where we can safely vote and know that it represents the community, know that it's from us and this is what we want collectively, I think they have to consider the home for Minecraft Live. And so far, that's been basically on everything. It's been on YouTube and Instagram, on Twitch, and just basically everywhere. And I think Twitter has really caused a lot more harm than good when it comes to Minecraft Live. I think we all remember the Glow Squid and really how creators were able to influence the vote and the power that they have and the control that they have on Twitter and the amount of followers that they have can truly influence, you know, these type of things when it really should be about the community. And I know it's impossible to prevent influencers from doing those type of things, but Twitter is well known to have those type of influencers and it's well known to have people that really just want to steal the spotlight and know that they're able to do something because they have the followers, they have the numbers. Number eight would be simply more moderators on feedback. This is something that I've personally been talking about for quite some time, but I think every single year it becomes more apparent that feedback needs a lot more attention, it needs a lot more maintenance, and it needs a lot more moderation, and it needs people to go through posts and put them where they belong. If they should be under review, I think that's where they should be. But going basically an entire year without seeing ideas placed under review, which is the case right now, is unacceptable. This is a place where they should highlight user ideas, people that took the time to share them on feedback. They should be celebrated. They should be showcased and highlighted and they should be reviewed and placed in the proper categories. And right now, we're not really seeing that. We're just seeing negligence. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Share your feedback ideas down below in the comment section. I'll go over them. I'll look at them as well. And I'll see you all in the next video. So take care. Peace.